Welcome back JDM fam. Today's video is about the 2IS because we're going to be installing a new mod that I'm really excited about. Dom is too, so it's going to look even more aggressive and it's going to look so good because we have an aftermarket splitter we're going to be installing today. We're going to, well, in this video, I don't think we're going to actually install it today. Sun's actually going down, but we are going to try to get this project started and get some of the steps out of the way so we can install this splitter. So we got this on, I believe, Amazon, right? Yeah, we got this on Amazon for, I think, $89. Came with hardware and everything. It's not the most expensive quality piece. It's kind of like... Yeah, it kind of looks like hollowed out at the bottom, but I mean, it really doesn't matter. Once it's on the car and set up, it's going to look really good. Now, I really like how it flares up on the side right here, like uh, a lot of splitters do. That looks great. It's gonna go right under the front and we already test fit it, it looks really good. So we're gonna sand it down, scuff it up. I believe we have some 200 grit, 220 grit sandpaper. We're gonna try this out. You don't wanna go too gritty when you're sanding because it will dig into the plastic if you're sanding plastic and you'll see lines all over that will be really hard to correct. So we're just gonna scuff it up with this. Should, yeah, that should come out really nice and the paint should cover that up really easily as well. So we're gonna scuff it up. We're in a wet sand and uh, just scuff up the whole thing and get this thing painted today. So let's start it. Yep, scuff it up really nice. You wanna get all in the corners in here and everything. Okay, it's been sanded, scuffed up, rinsed, and dried. It's time to start painting it. The scuffs aren't really deep. It's just enough to keep the paint sticking. I did this on my 3IS splitter and the paint really looked good and it just, it held on there. So it's going to look really good. Also did this on the ES1 7th Gen Civic. So let's start painting. So first we're going to start with a tack coat and we're just going to do the thinnest layer. It's not going to look good, but it will start the next layer really well. Let's get to it. Okay, so here's the first test fit on video. Let's see what it looks like. Come on now. Get the other side over there. Put it up there. Ooh, yeah, that looks good. So now that I drilled all of the holes into the splitter, it looks like they line up with the screws perfectly. There's one right here, there's one right here, there's one here that I just took out, one right here, and then it's uh, basically mirrored on the other side. We're gonna take all of these out and try to line them up as best as possible. Looks like they should hopefully line up pretty good with all of these. After all the screws are in, then we'll figure out if we actually need the aftermarket screws that it came with. I'm assuming we probably will at least need a couple or a few. Let's take all of these out right now and start installing the splitter. Okay. 
got all the screws out there's one right here look at this thing i don't know if you guys can see that it is literally just hanging down right here it could fall out at any moment probably won't unless we go off-roading or something but it's just sitting here doing nothing so i'm gonna try to pull this one out because it's literally not doing anything we actually have one missing on the front over here so hopefully this is the spare one i know that this car was painted at one point so yeah there we go we got it that's a little easier than i thought it would be so now we have the spare that we can use in the front on the splitter So that's a look with all of the factory bolts back in, factory screws. Looks really good. There is, well, there's actually not a really bad gap over here, but there's a slight one. If you guys look really close, you'll see that there's a slight gap right there that should be just closed up just a little bit. So we're gonna use the aftermarket screws to close it up over here. I am a fan of this gap right here though. It's really cool. It kind of looks like a arrow spot where the air can cut in there as well as right here. So it's got two gaps on the sides right here and on the other side, it's not supposed to have this gap. So we're gonna close these in and get it looking a little cleaner. But basically that is what it looks like gonna look really clean once it's done so like I mentioned there's the gap right there it's supposed to be there looks cool this one not supposed to be there so for this job with the screws I'm gonna be using this 90 degree elbow really cool little tool you literally just put it in there and you can screw any direction whether it's down or up or whatever so we're going to be using it this way that way we don't have to use the screwdriver and just sit here for a while just screwing it's going to work really well with this it's going to give us a lot more space a lot more of an angle to use the drill guys let us know what you think i am in love with this car i was in love with this car before it started getting modded and now it's looking better and better every day i love it this guy my son is always pushing me to do mods on his car and uh yeah sometimes i want to be lazy but i am happy to see this car getting better, growing, getting more aggressive, and just looking more modded. It looks so good, guys. Check it out. So that's the splitter. Let me know what you guys think about the splitter. Let me know if you guys would install this on your 2IS. I will link this product in the, the description if you guys wanna order it for yourselves for your 2IS. There's so much we're going to be doing to this car, so look out for more videos, guys. Headlights are still looking great. They look really good still. Now we got the... Uh, splitter we might be doing the f sport grill next so look out for that guys thanks for watching and i'll see you guys on the next video